for me, I, I use the term awareness. It's the state of being aware. Um, the, the question is how aware? Um, when you are the totality of infinite awareness in awareness of itself, that's the level that people give the labels to like God um, and, um, and other names. Um, but every expression of awareness is an expression of that infinite awareness. It's not uh, necessarily and mostly isn't um, that infinite awareness and awareness of itself the totality, but it is a point of attention within infinite awareness. And that these, these, these um, points of attention can take form um, as with the world that we live in. And if this uh, incarnate, if you like, awareness um, holds that connection to the greater self, then you're in this world, but you're not of it. You're in this world because through the, um, the so-called physical body, it's not really, um, you are interacting with this reality, this tiny range of frequencies called visible light. Um, but your perception of what you are experiencing is not confined only to that point of attention within the world you're experiencing. You also have a connection to uh, levels of perception, consciousness, awareness beyond the world that you are um, experiencing directly. And thus, you have a much greater perspective on what you are experiencing. Once you disconnect that focus of attention that directly operates through um, what I call the biological computer, the body. I heard a scientist call it the biolog a biological computer a few uh, few weeks ago. Crikey, they fell off the chair. Um, and uh, when you disconnect and focus that only in the five senses, then that now has to get an understanding of what it's experiencing, where it is, what's going on from within the tiny realm that it's experiencing so where where does it look to get a fix on who it is where it is what the hell is happening it looks symbolically out there and what comes back education parents who have been through the system and downloaded it and become agents of it peer pressure who downloaded the program and become uh, agents of it media, scientists, uh, doctors, all of which have been through the program and become agents of it. Um, and thus, you can see where, how you get trapped in a bubble, you get trapped in a, in, in a closed energetic world within which you are trying to get a fix on that world. You can't um, get a fix on it because you have no external uh, point of reference from which to observe what you, where you actually are, what you're actually in. You know, I've used this analogy that if you stand uh, really close to a to a wall and, and you're staring at the wall, all you see in front of you is a blurred reddish color. And uh, okay, you're in that state. Fine. Tell me where you are. Well, I don't know. It's kind of ready and kind of a bit bit out of focus mate okay walk back oh yeah well there's a few oh it's some bricks now walk back oh it's a house oh walk back oh it's a street walk back it's a town it's a city it's a country walk back it's, it's a world <laughs> walk back it, it's a it's a construct it's a construct we're living in a construct but if you don't make that symbolic expansion of awareness to levels of yourself, not some bloke in a spaceship, levels of yourself outside of the bubble, outside of the program, outside of the construct, you can't see what you're in. So you try to make sense of it within it. And all you can do is, in effect, is, is get your information from those who are telling you where you are when you're not really where they're telling you where you are. 
And so you become self-identifying with what they tell you you are, which is uh, some person who either, uh, ha you know, they hold um, three score year and ten years, if you're lucky. Uh, you uh, are either at the end of it going to um, just become nothingness and just cease to exist, or you're going to be judged by some god and all these other nonsenses that you get within the program relating to, to death, why we're here, what's it all about. And you, you're trying to get um, a, a, a grip of that. I, I'll, I'll give you an example of what I mean by how powerful this program is. I was in the old city of Jerusalem in um, 1993 for about three or four days. And uh, I had uh, some amazing experiences there, actually, uh, um, uh, without moving, uh, just lying on a bed in the middle of the old city of Jerusalem. Anyway, it's another story. One day, I'm near the mosque, the big mosque in um, in, in uh, Jerusalem, and, and, and the old city of Jerusalem is very small. Um, it's not like the great, you know, uh, uh, um, sprawl of, of the greater Jerusalem, and it's within, obviously, the walls and what have you. And I was standing next to this mosque, and I was watching some Muslim kids playing football. They were just uh, having a game and they must have been, I don't know, six, seven, eight, something like that. And um, it just occurred to me watching them because the old city of Jerusalem, even though it's very small, is broken up into quarters. There's a Muslim quarter, a Jewish quarter, a Christian quarter and an Armenian quarter. And it just occurred to me um, watching them, those kids kick the ball about that by that age, six, seven, eight, they would already have a certain perception of the world, of themselves, of life, of what they call God, and Jewish people. But if they'd have been born literally just down the street, in the Jewish quarter or the Christian quarter, for instance, they at the same age would have a very different view of themselves, the world, what they call God, and Muslim people, or, or whatever. Um, and, and the only difference is the information download in effect that they have experienced um, from in the first six, seven, eight years of their lives. And when you see that it can be done in such a small area and the difference in the way the, the perception of self, phantom self in different forms, uh, how powerful it can be when, when, when you, you're so close to each other. It's just a, um, a wonderful example of how powerful this program is. So once you're in the program and your, your focus of attention, this is the point, your focus of attention is not outward but inward, then um, the greater self uh, starts being very uh, silent because uh, the more you focus your attention on um, and this narrow band of frequency, the more your frequency starts to um, uh, slow down, it starts to get denser. And you know, high frequency and in the end, no frequency, infinite awareness, um, therefore loses, sim simply loses frequency contact. And as you then reverse that with what we call the awakening and you open your mind from the program, by expanding your sense of the possible, which is what you're doing, out of the program which wants to give you a, uh, a uh, myopic sense of the possible, by, by expanding your sense of the possible, you're expanding and quickening your frequency. Therefore, you start to reconnect with higher frequencies where greater awareness, knowledge, intuitive knowing is available to anyone. You know, these great people of what we call the past, like Leonardo da Vinci and Giordano Bruno, who, when you look at their lives, were uh, massively more expanded in their knowledge in various ways in terms of uh, Bruno spiritual, uh, spiritually uh, 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 as well. Um, people say about those people, because they were so advanced in many ways compared with their, the world they lived in, they say that they were... They were um, before their time, but they weren't. They were beyond time. Time, there is no time, there's only clocks, and um, uh, time is part of this construct to which we are welded, uh, this control system. So what they were doing um, in their era was expanding their awareness to 
those levels of awareness where this knowledge that they then expressed in this world, hence people said, oh, they would be ahead of their time, where it came from. You know, whether you're knocking rocks together in this timeline, or whether you're on the smartphone, or whether you're flying to Mars, it's the same situation. That le level of awareness where all that knowledge, insight, uh, uh, is uh, is waiting to be tapped into is always there no matter what you're doing rocks or smartphones or whatever um, and it's there and the idea of the program is to hold you from getting there because without that the program can't exist and can't survive